In election season, pundits follow the campaigns, but political scientists don't necessarily follow the campaigns. Some of them instead follow this. One of the lousier determinist theories of American elections holds that it doesn't much matter who the candidates are or how they are running for office. It's really the price of gas that determines who wins the election. This theory has basically been debunked, but it is still repeated a lot anyway. It's sort of pop poli sci. Well, in the great state of California right now, gas is the most expensive it has ever been, ever. The average price of a gallon of gas in California is $4.67. Depending where you are in the state, you could find yourself paying as much as $6.65 per gallon. It happened all of a sudden. It does not seem to have happened just in the normal course of events. There have been a bunch of different oil refinery troubles in the West, including this fire at a Chevron refinery in Richmond, California, back in August. Uh, then a different refinery, an Exxon one in Torrance, California, shut down when it had a power outage. So that caused a further shrinking in the availability of gas. California's governor just announced measures to boost supply yesterday to try to help the state deal with the rising prices. But today, Senator Dianne Feinstein of California California called for a federal investigation into whether this is more than just a supply and demand issue, whether something shady or possibly even illegal is going on here. She says that publicly available data appear to, appears to confirm that market fundamentals are not to blame for rising gas prices in California. Senator Feinstein is asking the Federal Trade Commission to start monitoring the gas market for fraud or illegal manipulation in the illegal manipulation of the whole market. Like, oh, I don't know, maybe just speaking hypothetically here, like maybe some random broker accidentally buying, uh, uh, buying uh, most of the global market of oil futures and causing a ginormous spike in oil prices because he was super drunk. Look, drunken broker. On June 30th, 2009, between the hours of 1.22 a.m. and 3.41 a.m., a very drunk young man in England, who also happened to be a commodities broker, gradually bought 69% of the global market of oil futures. On the morning of the 30th, an administrative clerk called the broker to ask why he had bought 7 million barrels of crude during the night. The broker had no recollection of the transactions, and it turned out that he had made the trades during a drunken blackout, according to a financial services authority investigation in the UK. At 6.30 a.m., presumably sobering up and realizing what he had done, he sent a message to his boss claiming an unwell relative meant he would not be able to make it into work that day. The drunken broker said he was sorry, he got fined, he got his license revoked for five years. When the British authorities revoked his license, they said that the broker, quote, poses an extreme threat to the market when drunk. Which is both a hilarious backstory to why there was that one sudden and unexplained spike in oil prices in the world in 2009, but it also makes me feel much more sympathetic to the idea that there ought to be an investigation into what the heck is going on in California with $6 a gallon gas breaking out inexplicably.